there homespun friends it is wonderful to see you this afternoon i hope you're having a great friday i sure have missed you i have missed you for the past couple of days i haven't had a video up i did record a car chat but when i watched it back i thought i rambled way too much <laughs> so i didn't put that video up for you guys so i'm coming back today though to check in with you and to see how you're doing and also to share some more information about lilla rose you know, a few videos ago, I mentioned Lilla Rose to you, and so many of you ordered from me. I was really blown away by that. It was amazing. And not only did you order from me, three of you signed up to become consultants yourself after I showed you the clips. And so, man, I was, I was amazed. And I had a lot of people sending me emails and messages wanting to know more about Lilla Rose. They wanted me to show the product again. They wanted me to show you the sizes because size is a big question that a lot of people have. And um, some people said, what, what is required of you if you decide you want to sell this item? So I'm gonna share with you what I know today. I'm gonna start out by telling you what Lilla Rose did for me personally. And it's the only reason that I'm a consultant for this because if I don't really believe in it, I'm not going to sell it. You know that. Um, that's why I'm not selling Avon. I love Avon, but I don't know much about it in this day and time. And so because of that, I've put off doing that. I only want to stand behind what I really love and know. Um, when I was younger, all of those years, my hair was really short. I've kept it um, spiked up and just super short, and I, but I've always wanted to let it grow. It was long when I was a child, and I thought, you know what, I want to have it long again. And I had tried several things as I let it grow. My hair is coarse, it's thick. Um, as it would grow out over my ears, it would just get huge tufts of hair coming out and I would try to clip them back. And the way that I would pin them back is with a little, what I call a squeegee clip. I think my daughters call it a mini jaw clip. And I would just take that mini clip and I would try to clip it back, but it would make my head so sore. I mean, just so sore I couldn't stand it. And I would live through that until I got more and more of my hair up and then I would move up to the bigger jaw clips and finally I got it long enough one time to have a jaw clip that I could put back here just a little bit. And I didn't like it at all. You know, I had headaches all the time. My head would get sore places in it. Um, whenever I would go anywhere, I would have to take that jaw clip out um, because if I wanted to lay my head back on my headrest in my car, it would stick out that far. I mean, you couldn't lay your head back for anything. If I went to the dentist, I'd have to take my hair down because I couldn't lay back in the chair. I had that big clip in my head. Um, and you're going to see my hair up a lot this summer because the summer is when I tend to have my hair up the most. I wash my hair more often. It's kind of wild and free flowing and I'll just take it and twist it up and put it in a clip and go. I don't have to fool with curling irons or hot rollers or anything like that in the summertime. And that's what I really like about it. Um, but when I found the Little Rose Clips, it really changed my life because I found something that worked for me. It didn't pinch my hair. It didn't pull my hair. It didn't break my hair out. Um, it, it actually did not hurt my head. It did not make me sore. And so I loved that. I really did. And I decided right away, I'm going to become a consultant for this product because I love it so much. Now, the smallest size Little Rose Clip that you can get is a mini. And I'm going to show you, or what they call the XX small. We, in the olden days, we called it the mini. I think they've changed some of their terminology now. But um, this is the smallest size right here. And it looks like this. Now, this clip is called the Tree of Life. And it is in the silver. There is a Tree of Life gold. I think you can still get those, but I'm not sure. And what they will do is once a month, they will have maybe two clips that will come out that will be clips of the month. They're the specialty clip. And you need to order it during that month because after that, it has a tendency to go away or get sold out. And then maybe one time at the end of the year, they will try to bring each one of these clips back around and let you have one more chance to order them. But some of them become unavailable and you can't find them. And we actually have pages, Facebook pages, dedicated to people searching for the style of flexi clip that they want because they're all sold out and they're trying to buy them even used from other people um, because they're so popular. But anyway, this one is the mini size and I will show you another mini. It looks like this. As you can see, that one has a large ornament on it. And this is the back of it here. 
Now the thing I love about these clips is that I have found something similar like a figure eight or a piece of leather that you would lay up against your hair and you'd put a stick through it. But that stick gets gone. It's not attached. It gets broken. And then you have a product that's no good and you have to throw it away. And I've done that plenty of times. But with these clips, the pin is always attached. It's stuck on there. It's not going anywhere. It can't come off. See? It's there. And you always have your pin with you. Um, so if you get ready to go on a trip, you don't have to worry about, well, if I lose that stick or I lose that pin, no, it's attached. Um, this product is actually patented. And on every Lilla Rose clip that you see, like I'm going to show you right now, um, a medium is my favorite size. On each clip, you're going to have the website of the company on the clip. And on the other side, you're going to have the patent number because these are patented. No one else makes them like this. No one else can. Um, so when you're getting this product, you're getting a one-of-a-kind product. And on the end of each one of these clips, you're going to see a letter. Right here, you're going to see the M. That stands for medium. So if you get a little bit confused, you'll know that this is a medium. Now, as you start using Little Rose Clips, you're going to be figuring out that some sizes work better for you than others. And um, this is one way, if you like to use more than one size, you can keep track of all of them. So anyway, these are the smallest ones that I just showed, showed you. And I want to show you how a mini relates to a medium. This is the same style clip in a different size. There you go. So as you can see, they're very different. This one is designed to hold much more hair, much thicker hair. Medium is my ultimate size. It's what I have in my hair right now. And of course, this is the mini. And you think, well, who could wear a mini? Well, a child could wear the little mini size. I will show you how it looks in mine. If you have, if you have really short hair and you're wanting your hair to grow, and maybe you're wanting it to look more feminine. Um, these clips are perfect for that because these are just like jewelry for your hair. That's what they call it. It's jewelry for your hair. So what you could do is you could gather up your bangs and you could put this in it and clip it. And it would look just like that right there. I'm trying to see if, I'm, if you're able to see that. So there it would be in your hair. Um, I'm going to show you the other one in my hair because I do wear this one quite a bit. So it would hold your hair back just like a barrette, but it's not real um, hard on your hair like a barrette. A barrette, barrette is a lot harder on the hair shaft itself than this is. And so there are the minis. And if you want to step up from that extra, extra small, you're going to have an XS. There it is on the side of the clip. It says it right here. And this is the size of it. That's the size. And I will do a comparison for you so you can kind of notice the difference in these two sizes. This is one step up. So there is your little small one, and there's the next size up for you. Okay? So that was the extra small. I can still wear the extra small. If you want to know how I wear it, what I do with this one, and the reason that I have this one, is when my hair is all down, I'll take, I'll run my fingers from each side of my ear, I'll push straight up and gather that hair right here, then I will put this in the top of my hair and to hold that together, and it'll all poof up, you know, this will be kind of flowing down, but I'll have everything else gathered up at the top, and I'll have this in it. Okay, and so that's what you can use. That's what I use that size for, and that's why I have that size right now. Now let me show you what how my hair is up currently. I'm going to try to show you. It's very difficult to do because I can't see what the camera is picking up. But I'm going to let you see. This is what I did today. I jumped up, threw my hair up in this thing, and took out the door. So it's very simple. Once you twirl that hair up, you can either put a, use a ponytail. Um, you can put it in a ponytail. You can put it on a side ponytail and put a clip here. I'll show you some other things you can do with a little rose clip too. But this is how my hair is today. Um, I just have this clip in it right here. 
And I love it because it's both gold and silver, so I can wear any kind of, you know, jewelry that I want to. Let me see if I can go from this side, too, and just show you how it looks on this side. And there it is. So I really love wearing all these styles, but this is a medium that's in my hair, and medium is my favorite. Now, I have all these other styles, and I can wear them, and I do wear them, but this is the one that I wear the most. Then from the small that we just saw, a small, or you just saw an extra small, sorry, that was an extra small, we're going to go to a small, just a plain S. And it's going to say it right here on the end for you. It's going to have an S right there. And this is my little ladybug. I think I showed you this last time. And I actually can get my hair up in a really tight pin up with this small. And I want you to know that these edges are made of wire. This is made of wire here. And so it's very flexible. That's why they call it a flexi clip. It's not rigid and hard. So you can bend it and make it work for your hair. If your hair is standing out more, you can push it up more like this. If your hair needs to be flat, you can push it out flat. Each one of these little pins has three notches in it. Can you see the three notches there? One, two, three. So that you can choose the size that works for you. So there is the tightest notch. There's the next notch. And there is the final notch. And you can make these bend and go into your hair, and that's how they hold on so good, because they're flexible. So this was the small. And if you want to compare an extra small to a small, you're going to see it here. Okay? And then from the small, we're going to go up to the medium, which is my favorite and the one that I have the most of. Um, I love these colors for summer. They are beautiful. So there is a medium in the purple, in the pink, and in the green. And then I have this one that I wear a lot in the fall. It was actually sold in the fall of the year. It was a flexi of the month. I'm not sure if this clip is still available. Um, I don't think it is, but um, I love this clip. It is the sunflower. And it has gold trim on it. As you can see, it's gold in the back. It has wooden beads on it. And it also has some, like, gold. And it has a little bit of silver in it as well. But in the fall time, you know, it's so pretty in your hair to wear that. And then a couple more medium sizes that I have. This was the first medium clip that I ever bought for myself. And I love it. I love it. It's still my favorite after all these years. I love this clip. It's the Cameo. And I'm not sure you can get this clip anymore either. I'm not, I don't know if this one is available. But it has pearls on it. I wear this one a lot to church. And it's just very classy. And see, it's flexible, so you can bend it and make it work for your hair, for whatever you need. Okay? And then here is another one that is so pretty. These are all mediums. I'm not showing you my whole collection. I'm just trying to show you a few things that will give you an idea about how these clips work and what you can order from them. And then I have another favorite that I wear quite a bit because I love this color, especially in the summertime. And I get compliments on it every time I go somewhere. It is a cross. This is a gold cross and it has the they're like turquoise or teal colored beads there and it also has some little sequins that are inside little stones inside the cross and they have this in the mini in the little tiny they have this in the extra small so if you're an extra small person and you need one you could get this cross in this size um, if you're a person that needs it in the small size, let's say, you know, you think, well, small is my size, you can get this cross in the small. Now, one of my friends from church bought all the women in her family this Christmas 
a flexi clip and this is the one she bought them she wanted them all to have a cross her granddaughter is three I think and doesn't have very thick hair very fine hair so she bought her one of these and she went to church here recently and they came up to the choir to show it to me in her hair and it was beautiful and the grandmother had one the mother had one and the granddaughter had one it was so cool um, so that's one of my favorites. So those are all the medium size. And then from, I mean, yeah, medium. And then if you want to go up to the next size, you go up to the large. Now, this is the Tree of Life in the silver that I told you about. Well, this is the Tree of Life in the gold. And it's beautiful. It's stunning. It's so pretty. And it also has the stones in it. And so I can wear this. Um... When I put my hair in the up, the up style, just the heads up, you know, with the little tails up, I think is what they call it. When I wear the tails up, I can use the medium perfectly. But if I want to do what is called a classic French twist, where you thicken your hair and you take it and you roll it inside of itself, um, and then I, I usually need a large for that. Um, and that's the reason I have this one. Uh, it's the only large that I, I might have one other large. I think I do. I think I have one that's multicolored. But this is the one I go to the most because usually when I'm doing a French twist on my hair, I'm going somewhere nice. I'm going like to Charlotte to a nice restaurant with my husband or I'm going to a recital or a Christmas dinner. Um, I'm going to a special church service or something and I'll do the French twist and put this in my hair. It's very classy, very classy. So there you go, friends. Those are the different styles and sizes. There's lots of other selections to choose from. They have everything from, they have an owl, um, a musical note, ballerina slippers. They've had everything that you can imagine. Seashells. I thought there was a sand dollar. I mean, there's, there's even been an anchor a number of years ago, and I wanted to have an anchor, but I haven't been able to find one. It's one of those things that once these get gone, they can be sort of like collectibles and difficult to find. And these range in price, I'm trying to think how much the little small ones are, but I think they go anywhere from like 9 or 9.25 on up to maybe, you know, $18 for the, or $20. I'm not even sure. But um, they never break. They never wear out. If you have any problem, you can let the company know. They are the best company I've ever heard of working for ever. I mean, if you have a problem, you just call, and they are on the phone with you. I mean, they are so, so good to all their consultants. And I think the, the consulting price right now, somebody had asked me about this, because like I say, three of you just up and signed up to be a consultant yourself. But when you pay the $49 fee, I think it's $49 right now. Is it $49? or 69 I don't know but you can go and check it out I'm gonna give you the link to um, to my website but when you pay that fee you're gonna get your clips quick I mean I usually just pay the regular shipping I don't pay anything extra for fast shipping and I I have them in about three days I mean they're super fast I've never had to wait more than four days it's usually just three days um, and the clips will be to you and I think you get four or five clips when you pay your money there is no minimum to sell you do not have to feel pressure you don't have to say oh no I haven't sold three clips this month what am I gonna do you know no there's no pressure on you at all you can be a very casual consultant or you can be a gung-ho this is gonna be my life's career kind of consultant there's all of us are there at Little Rose and they are as respectful to the person who is the top seller as they are to you. And that's what I really love about them. They just are respectful, gracious people. Um, the people, the lady that I work under, her name is Heather. She is amazing. She is always in touch with me. Is there anything I can do for you? That kind of thing. She's just really sweet. And like I say, I'm not a high-pressured salesperson. I don't love going to church and saying, I have something to sell. You know, no. I just kind of put it out there. And if somebody wants to buy it, they can. And if they don't, I understand because money doesn't grow on trees. And if you're getting ready to spend, you know, $15 on a hair clip, that's a lot of money. I understand that. Um, and But so many people decide that they want to do the consulting because they can get a lot of clips at one time. They send them to you like in a mini bundle. And then 
you don't have to have the clips on your person all the time to sell them and this is how I have done it um, I simply guide people to my website and if they want to order they can other people buy bundles of these where they might have 20 or 30 different sizes of clips and they go uptown and go to the flea market or go to the you know the July the 4th parade or whatever and they sell them at festivals and events and have them on site to sell and you could be that kind of person as well you can do it any way that you want to do it um, it's all up to you and it's no pressure I mean I absolutely love it about this company because they don't contact you every week saying how many have you sold why aren't you selling clips you know if you if your husband gets sick or your grandchild needs you and you don't sell a clip for six months you're not going to be ha harassed I'll tell you it's, it's what I love about them they're really good now People come up with all kinds of creative things they can do with these clips, and I'm going to tell you a couple of them, and I wish I had brought a scarf in here, but one of the things that ladies do now is they take the infinity scarves, and then they take this clip, and they put this clip around the scarf to hold it in, kind of in place, and they wear it on the scarf, and it is beautiful. They wear it on the scarf. Um... One of the women's sons went to the prom this year, and he actually wore this like a tie clip. He had a real thin tie, and he simply put this around the tie and wore it like a tie clip. Everybody wanted to know where he got it. It's a hair clip. It's not really designed for that. It's just what you can do with it. Um, some of them have taken, bought two of the little small clips like this, put them on their flip-flops. I mean, you know, people do all kinds of creative things with these clips, so there's more than just one purpose for them, but primarily what I have used them for is my hair, and it has made all the difference. So there you go. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box if any of you would like to place an order or just go over and just look around. I always love to look. Some days I just go over and look at the new clip of the month. They usually have a couple that you can look at, and I like to see they usually have some models that are showing their hair and their models are all real consultants so they're showing their hair and how they're doing their hair some of them braid it and some of them do these really unique um, hairstyles with them I love to see what all they're doing so it's a lot of fun for me but I know so many of you have asked and that's why I wanted to come along and just give you a little bit more of a description about these clips friends it is a joy to spend time with you no matter what we're doing I mean if we are just sitting here chatting or we are talking about scripture or we are doing grocery hauls it doesn't matter just being together is so much fun and you know what I look forward to seeing you next time bye bye friends